Hello, my name is Alok Sharan. I am the Deputy Editor for Digital Health Transformation at the journal Clinical Spine Surgery. For this week's visual abstract, we chose to highlight a paper published by Mayo et al. titled Tubular Transforaminal Lumbar Antibody Fusion is Superior to a Midline Incision with Cortical Screws for a Minimally Invasive Interbody Fusion. Moving towards minimally invasive lumbar fusion has been an increasing trend in the spine surgery community. Once elective surgery resumes, for a variety of reasons, patients will choose a surgical procedure that allows them to recover faster. It is theorized that patients will want to have their surgeries in ambulatory surgery centers over hospitals. It is not clear yet if this will be the case. One thing is clear though that patients certainly will want to choose a surgical procedure that results in less pain, faster mobilization, and a faster recovery. There is still controversy within the spine surgical literature on what type of approach can lead to these type of outcomes. It is clear though that minimally insur invasive surgery is trending towards less pain, faster mobilization, and a faster recovery. Fixation in the lumbar spine for a minimally invasive procedure consists of either the placement of pedicle screws or a fairly novel technique that has been called cortical screws. In this paper, Mayo et al. tries to dissect apart this controversy by looking at the advantages and disadvantages of the cortical screw methodology versus a traditional tubular pedicle screw placement. To place cortical bone screws, typically a midline incision is made. One of the advantages of placing cortical bone screws is that it does not require significant muscle stripping. Although there is some lateral exposure required, it is not nearly as much as required for the placement of traditional open pedicle screws. The screw itself is placed from a medial to lateral direction. As a result, there is less chance of perforating the pedicle or violating the facet joint, two things which have been seen with pedicle screw placement. In addition, mechanically, the screws terminate in cortical bone as opposed to the traditional pedicle screw, which is placed in cancellous bone. Mayo et al. rightly state that when performing a minimally invasive T-lift procedure, typically the internervous plane is used. This results in less muscle dissection, which perhaps overall leads to a better recovery period. In addition, this approach leads to the preservation of both the posterior muscle attachments and preservation of the posterior tension band of ligaments. There is no clear-cut data yet on which type of approach is better. It is clear, though, that both approaches are minimally invasive and certainly offer advantages over the traditional open techniques. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, please consider reading the article.